In this session, we're going to extend our look into if then else statements and have a look at the nested if then else statement. If you want to see how an if then else statement works, have a look at the previous tutorial and we look at how to create a simple password checker. Now, let's look at a nested if then else. We're going to change some of our variables today. So, what we're going to be using is we're going to start with an i age. Now, i means integer. And what we want to be able to do is ask the user their age. So I'm going to go I age is equal to input box, enter your age. And what we might do is start with a default value such as 12. Next, we're going to check it and say, well, if I age is less than 13. So we're now using one of the Boolean algebra symbols, which is the less than. So I, I age is less than 13 and you got to remember the crocodile eats the bigger number so I age is less than 13 because the crocodile is facing 13. So if that is true then message box you're a child. But then we want to put an else part in and say well if they're not 13 we're going to say you're, you're 13 or older. So if it is true, so they're less than 13, if they're equal to 13, that means they're going to be in this bracket. It must be less than 13 to, for this to be true, so up to 12. So if they're up to 12, then you can say you're, you're a child, but if they're 13 or older, you'll say you're 13 or older. So let's quickly test our program. Click start, enter your age, 10. You're a child. Click OK. Start again. Put 21. You're 13 or older. And if, once again, if we put in 13, because it's not less than 13, it's equal to, you're 13 or over, older. So that demonstrates a simple if-then-else statement with the default value for our input box. But what if we want to do a nested if-then-else statement? A nested if-then-else statement is another if-then-else statement inside of an existing if-then-else. So I could actually put another decision here and say, well, if I age is less than 18, then I could actually say, rather than you're a child, I could say you're a teenager. Now, if it's less than 13, it should tell me they're a child. If they're less than 18, so let's go less than and equal to, well, 18, they'll be an adult, so let's go less than 18. So anywhere from 13 to 17, we should get, oh, you're a teenager. 12, you're a child. 13, you're a teenager. 21, it says nothing. Now the reason why it says nothing is because if this is not true, there's no else part, so it stops, and because the, the first if statement's finished, it then continues with our program and finishes. So if I want an else part in here, so this is a nested if then else, so it's an if then else inside an if then else, so you can see it here inside of this one here, we could actually go else, we can then message box, rather than child, we can put adult. So if they're 18 or anything above, they'll be an adult. So 12, child. 14, you're a teenager. 21, you're, you should have an adult. Now the only problem with our program is you could also say that you are 1,000 years old or in this case 10,000 years old and you're an adult and I could actually say I'm minus 100 and I'm a child. So we can actually stop some of this by saying if I age is greater than zero and I age is less than 120 
then now you got an if else and if if else and if if we're missing one thing here which is an end if so every time we have a start of an open if we need an end if so now when I start my program click on start enter in an age minus 100 nothing Two, 200 nothing so the program now doesn't work because if this is not true it doesn't go into this statement here so this is now a nested if then else statement here inside an if then else statement inside an if then statement so this is a nested construct we'll just remove the space so I hope this helped you understand nested if then else statements remember if you look at the the stubbing out you can see here's one here's two here's three and we can do some very complex decision making using nested if then else statements and this will sometimes help you make your code more efficient than a whole lot of if 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 statements